Greetings, Lana. Welcome to our human resource management uh, subject. Uh, we are continuing with the foundational theories uh, of motivation in human resource management. And the theory we are looking at today uh, is a theory that has been used extensively in human resource management and other areas. Uh, and it is the agency theory. Uh, agency theory. And according to this theory, uh, which has its roots in uh, economic theory. It has its roots in economic theory. The agency theory was formulated by Alchian and uh, Demsets. Alchian and Demsets in 1972. And it was further developed by Jensen and uh, Meckling in 1976. This theory is defined as uh, the relationship between uh, the principles such as uh, shareholders and agents. So you have principles such as shareholders and you have agents such as uh, company executives and managers. According to the agency theory, Lana, the principles of a company uh, hire agents and when they hire these agents, uh, these agents are expected to perform some work. And uh, these agents uh, operate with uh, delegated uh, authority so that they can run the business on behalf of uh, the agents uh, uh, with directors and managers who are the agents of the shareholders. And this principle is very key in the sense that the shareholders or those who have provided capital for an organization may themselves not be there available to run the businesses uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. They may not have the expertise also, or they may not, not have the time. So when they now facilitate uh, the, the principals, uh, facilitate the, the agents, <clears throat> then the agents can run business. And this is what makes uh, business uh, revolve around and uh, transactions to be done. So this theory is, is very key <clears throat> to the area of uh, management to the area of uh, human resource management and it informs decisions and it has been applied extensively in the area of uh, human resource management. So we want to have a look at the uses of uh, agency theory. The uses of uh, agency uh, theory, uh, uses of uh, agency theory. So in which ways can the agency theory be utilized uh, in management? So we have just seen there is the issue of uh, principles and agents. So this theory can help us better understand, uh, help in better understanding, better understanding uh, of delegation, delegation, uh, of authority, delegation of authority uh, with emphasis, uh, with uh, emphasis on uh, principles and, and agents, principles and agents, emphasis uh, on principles and agents. So, this theory helps us uh, in the field of management to understand when it comes to the delegation of authority uh, from the principals and agents, how is it done and how should it be implemented and so on. So that uh, becomes uh, useful. Uh, it can also help in uh, corporate governance. Uh, this theory uh, can help uh, can help uh, in corporate governance, uh, corporate governance uh, can help in uh, corporate governance. So when it comes to running of uh, corporations uh, or running of businesses, then uh, the understanding between uh, uh, the principles, the agents, and what are the expectations can be better understood by the underpinnings of the agency theory. Then there is also the issue of uh, Resolution, resolution 
of uh, disputes that may arise that may arise between uh, between uh, uh, principals and agents resolution of uh, disputes that may arise between principals and agents and what we are saying here dear Lana, <clears throat> when you have principals on one side principals have their interests they have invested their resources and capital and they expect to get a return on that capital on the other side the agents are employees uh, they have come to the organization to work and some of the decisions they may make may create uh, certain conflicts so the disputes that may arise between principles and disputes can be better understood <coughs> with the process of uh, uh, understanding the agency theory and how it can be utilized in the various uh, areas then there is also uh, appreciation uh, appreciation of the roles uh, of uh, uh, agents uh, agents in decision making uh, decision making appreciation of the roles of uh, agents in decision making number five uh, research uh, research in the area of uh, human resource management uh, resource management so when it comes to <coughs> the uh, uses of the agency theory it can form uh, <coughs> what is called a theoretical background uh, theoretical theoretical uh, uh, background uh, or foundations can form theoretical backgrounds or foundations uh, so that uh, an organization or maybe those interested in areas of uh, uh, human resource research can be able to create uh, a theoretical foundation based on the agency theory to understand uh, variables and uh, constructs in the area of uh, human resource uh, management. There is also the aspect of evaluation of transactions, uh, evaluation uh, evaluation of uh, transactions uh, undertaken undertaken uh, in organizations organizations evaluation of transactions undertaken in organizations so when it comes to <coughs> the process of business transactions as we have indicated agents have their own uh, uh, interests principles have their own interests so when it comes to evaluating the transactions undertaken in organizations the agency theory can be able to as assist in understanding or interpreting the decisions that have been taken within a uh, given organization then when it comes to the agency theory learner the agency theory has on one side uh, tried to explain the relationship between uh, the principles on the one side the relationship between uh, principles and agents in terms of how they relate so when it comes to the agents and the principles uh, this theory can help in the determination uh, help in the determination determination of the remuneration remuneration uh, or rewards uh, rewards that may be given that may be given to agents uh, or principals as we have indicated agents are also looking for rewards uh, uh, principals are also looking for rewards and when it comes to an organization the agency theory can help uh, us in understanding uh, how uh, the organization is operating and also this theory can help us also number eight to monitor monitor the performance monitor the performance of agents uh, in organizations uh, organizations 
So once you have the uh, agency theory, then this agency theory can also be used uh, in the process of uh, uh, explaining, explaining uh, uh, the performance or monitoring the performance of agents, which may also lead to uh, specific decision making, uh, decisions being made in relation to the agents and the principles. So Lana, in our lesson today, we have uh, explained the agency theory and uh, we have looked at the agency theory and indicated that uh, the agency theory has its roots in the economic theory. And the agency theory was uh, formulated by Alchian and Demsetz in 1972. And it was further developed by Jensen and uh, Meckling in 1976. And the agency theory is defined as the relationship between the principles such as the stakeholders, shareholders, uh, and, and agents such as the company executives and managers. So according to the agency theory, the principles of a company hire the agents so that the agents can perform work and the principles delegate the work of running businesses to directors or managers who are the agents of the shareholders. So that is the background of how the agency theory was formulated and uh, what happens between the principles and the agents. Then we have also looked at the uses of uh, uh, the agency theory, how it can be applied. And we have indicated that uh, the agency theory helps in better understanding of uh, delegation of authority with emphasis on uh, principles and agents. Number two, uh, the agency theory can help in corporate governance. Number three, the agency theory can help in the resolution of disputes that may arise between principals and agents. And number four, the agency theory helps us in the appreciation of the roles of agents in decision making. And number five, the agency theory may assist in the research area of human resource management in terms of uh, theoretical background and uh, other underpinnings. Number six, the agency theory uh, helps in the evaluation of transactions that are undertaken in organizations. Uh, number seven, the agency theory uh, helps in the determination of the remuneration uh, or rewards that may be given to agents and principals. And number eight, uh, the agency theory uh, can help to monitor the performance of agents uh, in organizations. So dear Lana, those are some of the eight areas uh, or uses of uh, the agency theory. Uh, there could also still be other uses where this uh, theory can be applied and uh, these ones are just some of them. So before we end our lesson, you have uh, an assignment and uh, your assignment for today, assignment, uh, elaborate elaborate on the uses of the agency theory. Analyze on the uses of the agency theory. So Lana, this is uh, your assignment which you should uh, be able to work on after going through the topic we have done today, the lesson of today which was uh, agency theory. You go through this lesson, look at the background of what we have done, then be able to uh, uh, elaborate on the uses of the agency theory uh, until we meet uh, in our next lesson. Uh, thank you very much.